A major two-year cycle begins as Mars undergoes its Kazemi between Friday, Saturday, November 17th, 18th. This is a huge reset point for Mars and all martial things like action, leadership, courage, and desire. Expect to feel a huge rush of energy and for a warrior within you to be reborn. Let's take a closer look and break it down for all 12 signs. My name is Anastasia. I'm a traditional Western astrologer specializing in natal, relationship, and predictive readings. If you like my work and you'd like to support me, please leave a like or a comment, subscribe, and press the notification bell. You also have the option of saying thank you by buying me a coffee. I really appreciate all of that. It helps my channel grow. And if you ever want to work with me, if you'd like to consult a professional astrologer and ask your burning questions, you can book a reading at AnastasiaDanceAstrology.com. Any specials, you can find them down, be down below. We are in Scorpio season, so I am giving 20% off to all Scorpio suns. Check out the coupon codes down there. And before we dive in, I am currently actively promoting my creation of six months, the astrology planner for 2024. This is perfect as a gift for yourself or as a Christmas or a holiday present for anyone in your life. It's 225 pages are filled with astrological insights, journaling prompts, daily and monthly calendars, insights about transits, and so much more. It could be a beautiful guide to help you navigate the year ahead. It's ups and it's downs. You can find this on my website, anastasiasastrology.com, in the shop category. Definitely give it a look. And let's talk about Mars Kazemi. So first of all, what is a Kazemi, right? Whenever the planet is really close to the sun, it's considered to be combust. Combustion, different people believe it's different degrees, but let's say about 10 degrees on each side, the planet is combust, it's considered to be overpowered by the sun, because the sun is so bright, any planet that is right next to it gets kind of taken over by the sun, and it has less of an ability to perform or show its function. So we're, here we're talking about Mars and Scorpio, and whenever the planet is placed in the sign of its rulership, it is considered protected, rulership or exaltation. But Combustion is still, it still minimizes the effect of the planet. It is, for example, believed that if you have Mars ruling your house of career and it's combust, you're not likely to be visible professionally. You're not likely to reach professional visibility, right? Like you may still be powerful and strong because let's say it's Mars and Scorpio, but you may not reach sort of you know, celebrity status, if that's what you want. It might be harder, potentially. So combustion is difficult, yet when the planet reaches about, the planet reaches this, the place of perfect conjunction, when it's about 17 minute, minutes on each side of the sun, that is considered Kazemi, and that is considered the planet being empowered, because at that point, it is so perfectly conjunct that they are holding hands, they are consulting in the secret chamber of the sun, the king's chamber, and it's considered, every, every function of the planet is considered to be strengthened, right? So the exact Kazemi of Mars occurs on Saturday, November 18th at 12.41 a.m. But like I said, this is the strongest when it's within 17 minutes from the sun, so we feel it for two full days, pretty much, November 17th and November 18th. If you take it, if you apply like three degree orb, when is this starting to build up? Then that's between November 8th and November 28th, but definitely 17th, 18th are the strongest. And the Kazemi moment, like I said, the planet is empowered. It's also the moment the planet gets reborn. And it's like a new moon for Mars, right? Like the Mars conjoins the sun and a new cycle gets started. Like I said, the warrior gets reborn. And we're not gonna get another Kazemi for two years. So here you're very much venturing on the path that's going to last for two long years. You're planting seeds. You're not necessarily going to know immediately in the moment what this represents, but it is a powerful, initiation 
energy. It occurs at 25 degrees 36 minutes of Scorpio. So you will feel it the strongest if you have planets between 20 to 28 degrees fixed signs. Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo. It is likely to be, it's likely to be very harmonious for you if you have planets between 20 to 28 degrees Cancer, Pisces, Virgo, and Capricorn. And it might be harder for you if you have those 22, 28 Leo, Aquarius, Taurus. For Scorpios, it might depend on the way you use it, right? It actually is the case for all of us because Kazemi of Mars releases a huge burst of energy and it's really up to you how you deal with it. So some other things to mention, you know, Mars Kazemi happens on the 18th. It's part of the same story that started on November 10th, 11th, when Mars opposed Uranus. On the 13th, we had a new moon in opposition to Uranus. So the Kazemi is separating from Uranus. So I think whatever shakeups you've experienced, whatever lessons you have learned from them, you're now applying it to the new cycle, to the new cycle of action, energy, desire in your life. There's also a trine to Neptune and a sextile to Pluto that are active at this time. So very sort of dreamy, transformative energy. So I like that the next two aspects, you know, after opposition to Uranus are Neptune and Pluto. So it's not, it's not as difficult as it could have been. Basically, yeah, like the, the aspect that the Kazemi is separating for is, from is a trine to Neptune and it is applying to a sextile to Pluto. So it's, it's quite supported, one might say. So what can you expect? Like I said, first um, is energy, having a huge rush of energy that you need to express constructively because otherwise it can lead to damaging consequences. It can lead to an overwhelm of heat. And you are basically asking yourself what is worth investing this energy into, right? What is something you're passionate about? Once again, don't worry if you don't have instant answers. It might take you some time to figure things out. But a lot of times I encourage my clients to ask themselves, what do they already like in their life, right? Because something you might like as a hobby could be something that you will eventually turn into business. So number one, energy. Number two, heat. It's hot. This energy is really, really hot, right? And so if not used constructively, it can lead to conflicts. It can lead to aggression that is maybe you are expressing or that is directed at you. It can lead to more violent exchanges and interactions and drama. So be very mindful of that. There might be, there might be heat in terms of like in your body, like getting overheated, getting frustrated, getting angry, getting sick, getting some kind of like heat rash or something like that as a possibility, some kind of like eruption on your skin. So this is a more dangerous manifestation of this transit, right? Like you you have that energy, so you're more likely to chop your finger while you're chopping vegetables, right? You're more likely to get into a fight at the grocery store in a line or yell at a post, <laughs> at someone at the post office. Um, driving too fast, be careful driving too fast, be careful of like road rage and fighting with people on the highway. If you stay mindful and you use this energy with kind of conscious application, it can bring a lot of constructive results, right? A lot of success in the long run. So, so we spoke about energy, we spoke about heat. Next kind of key word here I think is leadership and entrepreneurship. I put the two together because all of that energy, it's like I said, it's a rebirth from Mars. So it's in a way a perfect time to start new projects. You have that abundance to initiative. So it's perfect to um, go for it. Go and become a leader. Assert yourself. Express yourself. Start something that you might enjoy, right? Like, like some kind of like physical labor or a labor of love 
working in solitude could be enjoyable to you too because you have these it's very much about like personal energy personal growth um next i have creation or birth of something so along the same lines of new projects mars kazimi could be the time to create some kind of physical object right like mars is connected to working on a metal beating something into shape so like creating a sword <laughs> creating a sculpture creating a piece of art creating a dance creating a some kind of you know like TikTok video or starting a YouTube channel whatever whatever it is that you feel passionate about and something that you are willing to work on for the next two years that is the good time to start right now next Mars also has to do with our body so Mars Kazimi is the perfect time to start exercising to start lifting weights, to do martial arts. Um, your identity gets very much connected to your body and to the action of your body. And that is also a beautiful way to express some of the heat that might be building within you. If you're feeling, if you're feeling restless, if you're feeling like you're starting to get aggressive or frustrated, this could be an opportunity to come up with some kind of physical once again dance but maybe some kind of physical exercise and yeah commit to exercise commit to learning yoga or learning um why can't i remember any jiu-jitsu <laughs> martial arts right continuing on that working on the body mars is also connected to sex right so it's it could also be a very passionate transit this could be the time when you reconnect with your partner, when you have a moment of raw intimacy and closeness. It's Mars and Scorpio, I've heard it described as, you know, transmitting the energy into the universe during sex. Like the moment of orgasm becomes so much more. So Mars Kazimi could introduce change to your sex life. It could maybe the time when you're having more sex or maybe you're deciding to commit to having monogamous sex or you're deciding to experiment sexually scorpio rules genitals right so exploring your body connecting with your body is likely here and a couple of other things you know around this time scorpio is very much a sign of research detectives investigation so there might be also some interesting news coming through and some interesting sort of reports on the news or maybe you finding out secrets you're sort of intuitively picking up on some messages there might be speeds there might be quick developments and and like i said just be careful that you're not rushing into things or you're not hurting yourself and these are these are the main kind of general descriptors and we're gonna break it down to see where you can experience this energy show up for you but some of the questions to ask are what is worth my time what is worth my energy and what am i willing to fight for because mars kazimi is also very much like fighting is not always literal fighting but fighting is applying your energy investing yourself putting your best face putting your warrior forward right like if you had to take the flag of some country would you take the flag of the business country would you take the flag of uh, physical exercise country leadership what would it be for you so let's take a look at the 12 signs and just give you kind of quick ideas on what this might be igniting in your chart for Aries risings, Mars Kazemi is activating your eighth house. So here you're looking at partnerships with other people and you're looking at what is worth connecting, who is worth collaborating with, right? Like what is worth your energy. Eighth house is also a place of transformations of other people. So Mars here could be very much the person who fights for other people's mental health or fights for other people's financial stability like you may be finding yourself in a position of venturing into the unknown with the eighth house and being ready to take risks right like eighth house is 
resources of other people. So somehow with Mars here, you are either starting new partnerships or you're paying off debts, you're negotiating, you are rebuilding these dynamics you have with other people and using the energy to heal yourself or to heal other people. If you are a Taurus rising, there is Mars Kazemi in your seventh house and seventh house is all about relationships and Mars Kazemi could be conception of a new relationship. I can see some of you starting a partnership that is deeply sexual, something that is very sort of raw and primal and intimate. Maybe more intimate than sexual, right? Maybe you're choosing a connection that is sort of like being in a relationship with no skin, just sort of being so close. Could also be very much conception of something, right? If you are in a serious relationship and you're trying for a baby, this could be conception of a child, this could be conception of a partnership. Once again, what are you willing to fight for in relationships? What are you willing to fight for in business? And how can you bring more of that into your life is the question here. If you are a Gemini rising, there's Mars Kazemi in your sixth house. And Mars Kazemi in the sixth is very literally a restart at work and in your physical health. Like Mars Kazemi in the sixth is perfect for starting a new workout routine, starting to um, do yoga or do stretches every day. I was, I was just talking to my Gemini rising friend actually just asking her if she exercises, if she does anything, and she said that she's looking to start something. If you are a Gemini rising, are you looking to reinvent your routines? Are you looking to restart your exercise protocols? And, you know, it's a water sign, so maybe for you it's about swimming, maybe for you it's about um, doing some kind of water aerobics or whatever, whatever you enjoy doing. In the sixth house, we're also working on some kind of labor of love. So you're investing energy into something that might take a couple of years to manifest and asking what is worth, what kind of heavy burden or what kind of like heavy project is worth lifting and very much venturing on the path of new beginnings here. For Cancer Risings, there is Mars Kazemi, New Beginnings, Rebirth of Passion, Desire, Initiative, Courage in the House of Romance, Creativity, and Children. What are you conceiving, Cancer Risings? Are you looking for more joy? Are you looking for a reinvention of your sex life? Fifth house represents pleasure. And Mars Kazemi here is very much sexual so on some level this could be some kind of new relationship coming into your life in the next two years perhaps connecting with a more primal energy you have exploring your sexuality exploring your body understanding what makes you tick right or we're looking at joy here we're looking at pleasure and whether there is enough of it in your life perhaps it's the time to remember what once used to get you excited right like maybe you loved embroidery or you loved um, swimming and you bring that back into your life. So very much new opportunities, I think, to date, new opportunities to create. There might be a child, you know, you might be conceiving a child with this energy and becoming a parent and connecting with that more parental energy within you. So a lot of exciting kind of new beginnings, I think. But ultimately the question is like, what is worth investing your energy into and what is worth, what is pleasure to you, right? Like what do you want to have more in your life and what is truly enjoyable versus some things that maybe can be left behind or don't need to be as strong in your life, don't need to be as important or prominent in your life. For Leo Risings, there's Mars Kazemi in the fourth house. And here you're looking at the application of energy and the application of force and new beginnings in the fourth house of home, family, and living situation. And a very kind of like, you know, watch out for conflicts with family, watch out for some kind of dramatic exchanges and things getting extremely heated. But you can also use this energy to perhaps move through conflicts together, to maybe Re rewire, redefine your relationship with your family. Maybe start working out together, right? 
I can also see this for some of you as moving or as taking on some kind of home improvement project. Maybe you decide to watch YouTube videos and retile your floors or something like that. Um, I think, yeah, I think the big question is what is what is safety what is security and what is worth investing your energy into to feel more safe and to feel more secure and because fourth house is exactly opposite the 10th house i wonder too if you are trying to somehow marry your professional life with your home life and trying to find maybe some kind of better balance where you have happiness in both areas but yeah, like, like definitely transformations of the living situation, transformations of the family dynamics, and perhaps even, even adding a gym or moving somewhere with a gym or starting to work out from home. I can see all possibilities here. Or like learning to address conflicts in a different way. Learning to speak your mind is also likely. If you are a Virgo rising, there's Mars Kazemi in your third house. And... Third house is the place of communication. And here you're very much wondering what makes you excited, right? Like what is worth talking about? What is worth highlighting in the world? What kind of message needs to be delivered? And Mars Kazemi could be a start of a blog where maybe you, you know, Mars is always a fighter within us. So when Mars Kazemi occurs in the third house, you're like fighting with your words. You are looking at whether it is writing a novel, right? You want to become a writer, so you want to express your fighting spirit through that. Or that means speaking on behalf of someone. Could also be the opportunity to start a business because third house is the place of business. It could be a chance to become an educator, start like teaching something, right? Third house is very much applied knowledge, so it's like showing people how to move their bodies, right? Showing people how to build things brick by brick. There could also be new beginnings in the life of your siblings or new partnerships with siblings. And I think also to me, this is a very kind of like busy time for your mind. Your brain is just filled with new ideas and you are invited to just not let the power, the sheer amount of ideas overwhelm you, but in, instead just sort of narrow them down and once again ask yourself what is worth sharing with the world what is worth speaking for right like what do you truly feel passionate about what is your message what do you want to how do you want to improve the world around you because here we're looking at a more like smaller immediate environment it could also be an invitation to share something to be honest about what truly gets you burning up inside right try to have honest conversations at this time for Libra Risings, there is a Mars Kazemi in your second house. So here we're looking at the place of resources, at the place of finances, the house of values and self-worth. And with Mars Kazemi here, could you be starting some kind of business? Could you be starting a new financial undertaking? Could you be separating yourself from some kind of debts and maybe figuring out a better financial strategy to pay off? any resources maybe you are maybe you've been a person who only offered consultations you know Libra rising here maybe you've been someone who started offering consultations and now you're looking to transition into selling products I'm not looking to fully transition into that but you know I am offering products right now so some kind of new beginning new initiative new new venture that you're going for Mars in the second house is very very entrepreneurial very sort of like hustle energy right but perhaps you need to rethink how much you're hustling and how much you're resting um perhaps you need to hire someone to help you perhaps you need to ask for a raise or you need to start an ira is that yeah ira 401k i think those are the ones i have one of those but i can i somehow forgot what it is um, yeah, maybe you, you're becoming a financial advisor, right? That's like, what is worth your energy? What is making you feel secure? And how can you organize your resources around you so that you feel more comfortable are some of the questions here. And please let me know, Libra Risings, how does this resonate with you? 
If you are a Scorpio rising, this is huge. Mars is conjoining the sun. Mars Kazemi happens in your first house. And first house is your body. It's your initiative. It's your energy. It's everything that is you. So you are very much facing this big question of who am I? And I just had a conversation today via messages on Instagram with a Scorpio rising client and friend about her life and what is worth her energy because she's starting to feel not inspired to be doing the work that she's been doing for a long time. And she's like, I don't feel like I want to work anymore. And I asked her a question. I was like, well, maybe it's not about not working. It's about not doing work that you have been doing. And she said, yeah, this is exactly it. Because Mars being in your first house, Kazemi happening in your first house, we just had a new moon in your first house. It's all about independence. It's all about courage. It's all about leadership. And it's very much about like what's at your core. What is lighting up that fire within you what is getting you excited right like how can you change the answer to the question of who are you and it will be different for every single person but this is the questions you are asking here because you're feeling a lot of energy and the energy can be used to change your body to start exercising to change your look to change your style to change your hair um but very much also it's, it's also very much about being brave and not being afraid to stand up for what you believe and express yourself in the way that rings true to your core. Let me know how this resonates, Scorpio Risings. <laughs> Presage Risings, Mars Kazemi is happening in the 12th house. And here we're looking at the realm of hidden things, at the spiritual place, at the sector of mental health, that everything that you are when nobody's watching. And Mars Kazemi here, I think, is emphasizing that there's more to you than just your job, that there's more to you than a parent or an employee or a boyfriend, girlfriend or a book lover, <laughs> whatever it might be. I think, I think here it's saying that maybe there's a healer within you. Maybe there is a teacher, a guide. Maybe you have things to share with people who are struggling because 12th house has long been the house of mental institutions, hospitals, prisons, and jails. So Mars Kazemi could be like, how can I use my energy to heal people, right? It could also be very much the path of healing yourself because Mars Kazemi in the 12th could be an opportunity to come up, start like a spiritual practice. Maybe you're starting to do yoga. Maybe you're introducing meditation into your life. Maybe you're signing up for therapy and starting to talk to a therapist, like very much healing the blind spot, addressing challenges in the blind spot, inviting energy to, to fight your inner demons or fighting more spiritual battles, right? Mars in the 12th house can very much be like, be a warrior of those like underlying hidden realms, right? My Mars, I'm born with Mars in the 12th house and it's very much like things I fight for, I think is the confidence or the mental health of my clients because I try to empower people. So it's not the obvious fighting that you might do at a martial arts class or um, while you do MMA, whatever, fighting. <laughs> I don't know what those are, but you get, you get what I mean. Let me know how this resonates down below. If you are a Capricorn rising, there's Mars Kazemi in your 11th house, and I feel like you are going through a change in your role and your social image because Mars in the 11th is very much a fighter for people. You are fighting for the group. You can also be fighting with people, but it's Mars in Scorpio, it's Mars in its own sign. So I think here the question is like, what is willing, what are you willing to fight for? And where does the collective need you? Where can you perhaps become a leader? Maybe become like, start your own organization or you know, tell your own story, gather your own resources, become the person that if you've been looking for someone to offer you a helping hand or offer you an opportunity, how can you become this person, right? Maybe you are becoming um, a career guide for someone or you're becoming a chairman of some kind of organization, right? Or 
you are starting to starting some kind of group fitness becoming a fitness instructor are all possibilities but i think more than anything it's like once again where does the community need you how can you become more of a leader in the world and how can you take more proactive role when it comes to reaching your dreams instead of waiting for other people to help you how can you help yourself if you are an aquarius rising there's mars kazimi in your 10th house and this is very professional right very much new beginnings in your career chance to become a leader chance to become a business owner to be in charge of your own work to potentially show a more assertive side of yourself storm into your boss's office and lay out a five-step reason for why you need to get a promotion right becoming like really proactive seeking clients um hustling more in the next two years taking on a different professional role i can see Ten thousand is also your public life it's what you're known for right so not everybody has like a career of sorts but people might have passions outside of their home life they might have a desire to improve the community or do work that is healing and helpful and maybe volunteer so something is like here here the question is like what is what do you want to be known for and what is your energy how is your energy best applied so that it can serve the world better right um because it's mars kazimi in the 10th house i wonder if you're also applying yourself physically whether that means you're changing your workout routine or you're becoming an exercise teacher or you're becoming some kind of you know physical health person instructor trainer because it's both the sun and the mars but very much like you are showing up professionally as a warrior for something and that could be an opportunity to like fight for more status or opportunity to fight for other people's well-being please let me know how this resonates down below now if you are a pisces rising there's mars kazimi in your ninth house and ninth house is travel it's education it's expansion of the mind through philosophical inquiry it's the place of writing and publishing it's the place of legal matters so you might be venturing on some kind of legal battle path <laughs> on the path of legal fighting right maybe you're becoming a lawyer maybe you're starting a legal case that might take a while like something that if you've been wronged somewhere you're getting ready to assert yourself and kind of fight for your beliefs you may be going to travel here you know ninth house represents travel maybe there's more traveling coming up in your life more opportunities to move around and share your knowledge with people or somehow show up as like a fighter in the travel realm maybe you're opening a travel agency um this is also the place of education so my boyfriend is becoming a teacher or sort of going and he's a pisces rising so he's going towards becoming a teacher and changing his careers from law which is another manifestation of the ninth house to being a teacher so some kind of you know some kind of transformation in the in the realm of academia whether that means you are going back to school or you're becoming a mentor but very like brave very assertive very like unafraid of making important changes to your life and finally writing this being the place of writing and this being the place of like belief i think how can you share your beliefs with other people and like also the question of like what do you believe what do you want to bring to the world what do you feel so passionate about that you like have to share with others and how can your beliefs can improve the lot of people around you and this is it thank you for watching thank you for being here pisces risings always the final sign so you're probably the ones who watches it until the end <laughs> so thank you for that go to my website anastasiadoesastrology.com get yourself a planner and i'll talk to you very soon have a great week weekend whenever you're watching this bye